Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bajit from JK. Welcome on my channel. Today I'm going to make a quick video about washer and dryer. I have a Samsung matching set, top load washer, front load dryer. There's a variety of a color, size, and you can buy a front load washer, top load washer. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you have a choices, but I choose to buy top load washer, front load dryer, white color, made by Samsung. I'm not sure exactly the, the part number or model number, but I will leave in description. Uh, in this video, we are going to quick review and we are going to make installation. So we will know what you need, what kind of part tools you need to finish installation to use. So now let's start. Now let's look first from the top, how they are look, their control panel and everything. They have a tons of uh, functions. The one I choose, I try to choose really simple to use, but still these days you will get a lot of functionality on this one. So this one is made by Samsung and you can see control panel. When I put a model number, you will see uh, there's the model number. This one is a 5.3 CU uh, cubic feet, a really big. They're matching at the front load dryer is 7.3 or something. I will also make a video after finishing installation, quick see how they look inside the house. So pretty big, sturdy. Uh, this cost me everything about like $1,700 and I bought it from Best Buy. Best Buy was a little bit cheaper than uh, other places. I have checked already Lowe's, Home Depot, same brand, same model. Uh, at uh, Lowe's was like about 900 something so uh, but both I saved from Best Buy like $200 now we are going to installation for installation first we gonna start with the washer for washer we just need a two hose uh, if you have it you can use old one if not we need to buy brand new and we just need a hose, one for cold water, one for hot water. And in your laundry room, you have already a hot and cold water a tap coming out. And they are mostly labeled. And at the machine, you will see they have a two different color. White will be the cold, red or orange will be the hot. Uh, before uh, installing, we are going to put some Teflon tape to prevent any water leakage. And once we install, we will wait for a couple of minutes so there is not any uh, water leaking. Then we will push our uh, washer close to the wall. For washer, we don't need uh, any uh, big tool. It's already also, uh, say, hot and cold. Uh, cold goes here, hot goes here. So for washer, it comes with the wire. You just need to undo. And also comes with the drain hose. Uh, first, we're going to install those... Uh, water lines then we will uh, take this hose and uh, put in the drain so as i says you will also see the color and uh, blue and uh, red or orange blue cold red or orange is hot but in my case is also say cold and hot i'm going to use teflon tape just we're gonna put a uh, clockwise you don't need uh, too much as we going to the cl the close to the dryer, we are going to a little bit thick, but front is gonna be really thin. So that's it. Same thing we're gonna with the hot water. Mostly, uh, it, when you are gonna install hose, it comes with the plastic ring. You know, you don't really need a Teflon tape, but that's uh, that I say it's like it's the second protection so here on my water side I have also already uh, my hose like color at the handle so I know which one is hot which one cold so this one actually is hot because I have a, a water tap I believe uh, if you have a same situation you have a water tap handle uh, red and blue which one tells you which one is cold and hot so before I tight I show you what I mean you don't need a uh, too much Teflon tape you see there's a black ring inside if you don't have it 
uh, this water gonna start leaking from here you have to have this plastic if not you have to buy from Home Depot you can go to a uh, faucet repair or plumbing section at Home Depot Lowe's you will find there their standard size you don't worry about the size now we are going to get the channel lock we're gonna do slightly tight you don't put too much pressure if not you can uh, break that uh, plastic inside once your pipe start moving like this one you're done now we're gonna do this one now we tie we're gonna turn water on and wait for a little bit so there should be no leak I heard my hot water is on now I'm going to do cold water so water is on no leak you can wait for a couple seconds now we're gonna install drain drain is really simple uh, I can show on the wall side as we know laundry is always small there's not enough room to make a video so here if you see I have a red handle and a blue handle and we have a drain actually I have a two I'm not sure why this one said do not use my is not finished so we are going to put this pipe inside the drain as you push your uh, washer closer we're gonna uh, put drain holes more in or you can just leave it outside now the final thing we are going to plug in so power on everything ready no water leak you done now we are going to push our washer close to the wall so we can complete this gap so now our washer is already done we have installed just two pipe and i have put a drain holes all the way in there's not extra slack so you can see there's also room for those pipes uh, the way they made it I'm not sure if you can buy uh, L shape uh, but uh, that's the way we have to we have to keep that much gap so now for washer to test we're gonna press power button your power on so power on you can choose whatever uh, the cycle you want whatever program you can do according to your needs uh, I'm not going to review yet because I have to use a couple times then I will uh, make another video where I will tell how this washer is performing but I just want to show another cool thing in this one because my laundry uh, I'm not sure why uh, we don't have any sink here so this is going to be really useful for us like say here if you press this button you will see there's a tap you will get some water and if you like you want to wash some with the hand you can wash it so that's really good you can press again it will shut down and this one is for soap the soap area you can put soap press button you can have some uh, cloth here washing by hand then you can put it in the machine and it will work for you so now this machine is ready to use we will use for a couple of time after a month or so i will make another video where i'm gonna full review so done now we are going to uh, move with the dry dry needs a little bit more work dry doesn't come with the wire so here it's just no wire but you have to buy from separately or you can buy the dead day uh, if you buy dead day they're gonna give you this cable plus a drain hose four inch drain hose everything was costing me 56 dollars but i picked up this one from amazon for $18 and hose from Home Depot for $12 so that's all cost me but if you're not worried about too much uh, it's not saving me too much but you can buy weather and now we are going to install wire first then we will install drain uh, that's two things we need to install for this one For electrical connection once we remove this cover you will be see exposed uh, connections here uh, let me put a little bit close it says l2 l1 so basically this side is l1 and l2 
Uh, you have a 240, one face goes here, one face goes over here. Uh, middle will be the neutral and ground you're gonna tie by the chassis. You can ground over here, you can ground over here. So now we're gonna push wire through here and we're gonna make those all connections. For this one, you can use quarter inch socket or Phillips screwdriver. Uh, this cable comes with these kind of connector, but those mostly used with the stove. Uh, but this one is round, so basically we're not gonna be able to use if you mirror uh, wanna be work on it, you need a cord connector, round one. Uh, but I'm going to push cable through uh, because this cable is pretty strong and we are not going to move a uh, dryer anywhere. So it's not too much movable, so it'll be okay. So now we have to remove the screw completely. Be careful, don't uh, let screw fall inside. There's a two-phase, black and red. You can choose any wire goes on either side is also color coded if you uh, want to put same color that will be the great so now first one these connections need to be really tight because it's gonna be high amp like uh, plug rated for 50 amp so if these connections are loose you're gonna make a spark in the future the cost to burn the wire now the second will be the neutral as I said center one So now the last part is ground. Ground we can be put over here or here. Either way, it doesn't matter. It has to go to the chassis. So now we're done with the wiring. Uh, we're gonna put a cover back. As you can see, have a little rubber. Uh, that's to protect so you don't touch those terminal to the cover. For cover, we're gonna put lock this side and put the screw. So wire is installed already, now the next part is drain. Drain is going to be really tricky because it has like a 4 inch wire and uh, it's going to be hard to make a go behind so you can have a less gap. For drain I have a, this one, this one I have a, already removed from my old. Uh, so have it two protection plastic from the side, the same will go on top of this one so we can manage to put this one this side and the other end to the machine side drain for dryer as you see this one just go simply here if you buy four inch it will exactly fit like that now you can leave it like that or you can put a clamp or you can put also foil tape on it up to you you can leave it like that in my case this piece gonna uh, touch the wall so it's gonna be stay like that and not gonna move so this end will go to the, the wall. To put the drain actually I have to push dryer all the way close because I have a cut to the sides. I don't have a too much extra. So now I put drain then I jump from here to here. That, that's all the way. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if you have any other technique or you can have a uh, washer installed later because washer no need that much uh, gap. So now we are going to push this dryer as much as we can do and we are ready to use. I have a plugged in power already. You can turn the power on and see if it's powering on. No issue, everything all right. We will test later. Now turn the power back off and push that dryer back. So both washer and the dryer are installed already, ready to use. So quick view how they're going to look inside the laundry if you decided to buy. They're pretty big, they fit, have only that much room this side, then I have room between both, then about here, and it is the back side, so that's all uh, the gap we have. We cannot push anymore, so it's supposed to be uh, stay here. So just simply press button, power on. ready to use uh, that's all for today uh, we will be using for a couple days weeks or month 
then we will make another video where we're gonna review how those machines are performing that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching meet you in the next video with the new topic